Welcome back. Today I picked up a Lyman ammo checker and we're going to take a look at it and we're going to see some of the benefits and features about it. And then I got some 380, 9mm, and 45 ACP. We're going to use to try it out. So let's go ahead and get this out of the package. Let's go over some of the features of this first before we take a look at it. Check quality and consistency of loaded rounds and purchased ammo. As we all know, Winchester White Box is the one that pops to my mind. Not always has the best quality control, so you can use this to drop the rounds into to make sure that they're going to chamber right. This is a must for auto shooters to confirm that it's going to properly chamber. It's a multi-caliper gauge. That's the reason why I picked it up, because it's multi-caliper. It's basically the easiest go-no-go -go gauge available. If the ammo fits, it should chamber. This is the SAMI specifications. So that's where it's good at. You still should do a plunk test and make sure that the round plunk test good spins freely in your chamber. But if you got multiple guns like mine, I try to find a happy medium where it'll work in all of them. And once I have that, this gauge comes in good to make sure they all fit in it. This is machined from a solid block of 6061 T6 aircraft grade aluminum and cut with custom tooling to SAMI specs. This thing is what makes it great. Lyman does a great job. I have more of their uh, tools for prep, case prep, and you can't go wrong with anything from Lyman. Their case prep stuff is the best. So let's go ahead and take a look at it real quick. Now, the reason why I picked this up is because I reload for 380, 9mm, and 45 ACP. And then sooner or later, I do want to get a 357, 38 special or a 44 mag. So that's all going to be in this and that's the main reason why I picked it up. Now this does not do case length like you do with the, uh, I got a 223 one here. This one does the case length that you want that for rifle rounds. You don't have to worry about that as much with handgun rounds. So that's why I end up going with this one. But let's go ahead. I got some rounds down here. I got 9 millimeter, 380, 45. But we're just going to Plop a nine millimeter in there and you see it's flush dropped right in don't stick up with no problem i'll just grab another one here to demonstrate let's grab one here and drop it down see how it's flushed down in there we know we're good to go comes right out now we got some 380 here drop it down nice and flush and grab another random one here go ahead nice and flush I got some 45 here. I got loaded up for a ladder test from my 1911. Go ahead into 45. You can see those are all good. 45, that, perfect. So let me go ahead and grab a case that's not perfect. Now I'm gonna to demonstrate to you what a bad round looks like. What I got here is a 380 I actually had made up and I failed a plunk test. That's why there's a primer in it, but nothing else. Basically, I bought a bulge buster, and I'm going to see if that'll work on this. But we're going to use it for a demonstration here. Drop it down there. See how it sticks up. Now that failed, and it won't chamber, and I've already tried it in a plunk test. So no, it won't chamber in my Bursa Thunder 380. But that's where a gauge like this comes in real handy. Once again, I think Lyman has another great product. Here's some examples of the stuff I own from Lyman. i got the case prep tool here. This thing's awesome for deburring, chamfering, primer pocket clean out, getting uh, military crimps out. This thing works awesome for that. And then of course I got my case length gauge here and chamber checker for her 223. This is a must because it'll tell you if your brass is too long and if it's gonna chamber. Really like this product. And now, as you saw, I added this ammo checker for handgun. And pretty much we got 389 millimeter 38 Super, 40 Smith & Wesson, 45 Colt, 45 or 44 Meg, and 44 Special, 38 Special 350, and 45 ACP, so that has got you covered. Well, that's pretty much all I got for today. Don't forget to check out my Instagram or my Facebook page, because I post stuff over there that you guys don't see on YouTube. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you all on the next one.